Hey everyone, when it comes to publishing the books with Amazon KDP, whether it is low content, no content or high content, one of the tools that we require is we want to create the book interior, we want to create the book cover as well. And you know what, as a beginner, one of the best tools that I have found and that is Canva. And Canva and KDP, both of them makes together a perfect combination for a new beginner like me. So if you are someone who is interested to kind of start your KDP journey, or you already have started your KDP journey, and you are using Canva, and I'm talking about the free version of Canva, then in this video, I'm going to share with you two tips that I have learned as a beginner. And as a part of documenting my journey of passive income, I'm creating a video for that. So make sure that you watch the video till the end and let me know the two tips that I'm going to share today in this video you found interesting or not. So let's start the video. All right. Three months back when I wanted to start my KDP journey, so I was looking for a tool with which I can create my KDP book interiors as well as book cover designing. And for this tool, I had three specific requirements. The very first one was it should be completely free because I didn't want to invest any money in this tool. Then the next requirement that I had was I wanted to have a tool which I didn't have to install it on my local machine, but I should be able to use it on the internet direct itself so that I can use it from anywhere. And the third most important point was the tool should be easy to use. There shouldn't be a kind of a steep learning curve in order to learn how to use this tool. So during my research, I found Canva as a perfect tool for this. And I'm talking about the free version of Canva. So I started using Canva for creating the book interiors. And by the way, I create all the interiors of my book by myself with the use of Canva. And same goes for creating the book cover designing as well. So over the period of time using Canva, so I have came across two important tips. And that is something that I wanted to share with you today in this video. And which I think you as a beginner will find absolutely useful because I had to kind of literally uh, uh, kind of struggle in order to get things right with Canva, which is a kind of easy to use tool as well. So let me just kind of uh, give a quick walkthrough of that. So the very first thing what we generally do is that, say for example, we want to create a composition not notebook. So we go to create a design and then we select custom size and we specify the size of the book and 7.5 by 9.25. So this is a perfect size for any composition notebook. So I just kind of uh, select the size and it opens up a completely empty design. Now, what I generally do is that I just to, uh, create one page ready and then we just make a copy of this page. Now, here come our first tip. So earlier, what I used to do was, you know, I used to use this tiny little button that is plus icon over here to add the page and I used to add the pages add the pages and you know this process was kind of a taking a bit of a longer time and I was looking for an alternative of it I was kind of uh, looking at how easily I can kind of uh, uh, duplicate the pages but I was not at all get getting any option and then one day I found this tiny little great view and you know what, with this, we can easily duplicate our pages. And the day when I found this, I was kind of pretty happy. And once I knew this, uh, I, I was able to save a lot of time while kind of creating the duplicate pages. So what we just have to basically do is that select all the pages and then duplicate all the pages. So we are easily able to kind of uh, duplicate these pages. And I, as a beginner, came to know about this faith a very late in the game. So I thought that, uh, let me just share it with you so that you'll be kind of uh, find it helpful and you will not face the same issue that I had faced. Okay, so another important tip that I, ha uh, that I have for you is 
Okay, so what generally happens is that with Canva free version, we can only kind of create a book up to 100 pages. So as long as it goes beyond 100 pages, it is not allowing us. Okay, over here we are at 94 pages. Let me add three more and three more. And if you see, it will not allow me to add any further pages. So with Canva, we can kind of create up to 100 pages only. So I was wondering if we have to create a book which is kind of more than 100 pages, then how can we do that? And I was looking for an option like uh, how in Canva we can kind of increase the page size. But I, I found that in Canva, in, in the free version, it is not possible to have kind of more than 100 pages. So what is the option? So here is another tip. So what we need to do is that create 100 pages as a separate design and then remaining of your pages into another design. Now, what we need to do is that once these two designs are ready in our Canva, we have to just go to download, select the PDF print. And by the way, I generally use this PDF print because it is high quality multi-page document. So, and I don't use this PDF standard. So probably uh, I'll suggest to use PDF print only. So uh, I download this uh, first design and similarly, I download the other design. So once these two PDFs are available to us, but yeah, uh, in, in KDP, we just have to upload a single book, a single PDF, right? So how to kind of uh, merge these two PDF to have our single book? So that's where I came across uh, this useful website that is smallpdf.com, which gives us an option to kind of merge the PDFs. So here, what we can do is that we can choose uh, two of the PDF files that we have kind of created and we can uh, edit over here and then we can merge these two PDFs in any of the order that we want. And with this, it, it will kind of take a bit of a processing time, but it is pretty quick and we'll get a single PDF file. It is a merged PDF that will be able to upload it on our uh, KDP when we are publishing the book. So yes, so this was a pretty a tiny little tip that was very helpful to me. If you are an expert and you have been using Canva day and night, then you might be feeling that, okay, this the, 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 the tips were kind of uh, very trivial, but I must say to a beginner like me, when I came across this thing, when I learned about that, I was pretty happy and I definitely felt that I should share it over here as a part of documenting my journey of creating passive income with Amazon KDP so that any beginner who are just starting new, who are just getting started with using Canva for uh, Amazon KDP book publishing. So uh, this may somewhere somehow help to them. So let me know in the comment section that uh, whether you found this video useful or not. And I'll appreciate if you click on subscribe button. So you'll, you'll be notified about the further videos that I'll be uploading about my journey of creating passive income using Amazon KDP. And if you like the video, make sure that you hit that like button. If you didn't like the video, make sure that you hit that dislike button as well. And I'll see you in the next video. Till then, Thank you very much for watching this video and have a great day. Thank you very much.